Hey guys, how are you? My name is Steph. So, will ChatGPT eliminate coder jobs? I don't think so. I think ChatGPT and other AI will just make coders more productive and it will make the code much cleaner. Every now and then in the software development space, you see the introduction of a new technology that changes the game. I've been doing this since 1994, so I've seen several of these things occur. I think one of the most obvious ones is when uh, page-based web development technologies came to, came to be in about 1996. The old days, we used to do everything with Perl CGI or C-based CGI development for web app development. And then Microsoft came up with something called ASP Classic, and it literally increased productivity tenfold, tenfold. I talk about this, and I've talked about this in other videos where I went in to see a client and they had contracted with another company to build an early version of a social network. And they had spent a year on it, over a year, and they couldn't get it to work properly. So I walked in, looked at the code base, and I said, uh, we can't fix this. It's too messy to code. That was the nature of that kind of development in those days. But I said, we can rebuild it from scratch using brand new technology, and I'll be able to do it, to, do it for you in 30 days. So they didn't believe me, but they, they decided to take a risk. So in 30 days, I, in fact, built the app from scratch, and it worked much better, had more features, and it had barely any bugs. Not because I was a genius programmer, is because this new technology was that much more performant. So that's what we're going to see with AI taking over the world. We're going to see far greater output, and a lot of stuff that we have to build from scratch now We'll be able to uh, we'll be able to semi automate that at least with programs like GPT and Copilot, etc. So instead of being worried about what AI will do to your coding job, think about using AI to enhance your abilities as a coder. As I said at the top of this video, people who embrace these new technologies will just have a significant market share advantage. There's no question about it. I already talked to some people who, uh, developers who now use GPT on a regular basis to uh, help write out some boilerplate play code, maybe solve some problems. You can think of having chat GPT and similar programs. You can think of them as having live co-pilots, pun intended, live uh, co-coders beside you will help you out and speed up the process. That's what paired programming was all about when that was invented. The idea with paired programming is you have another developer beside you, and the, as you have a principal writing most of the code, the paired programmer will be able to suggest things that you're not thinking of, and the productivity gains are pretty significant. You can now do that with uh, Chat GPT, and it will just uh, make your life much easier. I'm looking at it as well in terms of what it can do to enhance productivity in my own uh, workflows. So my suggestion is that you go out there, take a look at ChatGPT, see how it can help you write better code and more quickly, and embrace it, leverage it, integrate it into your uh, workflows, and you're just going to be a far more productive coder, a far more productive developer. One caveat, there are several companies out there, they don't want uh, their people using GPT too much because they don't want their internal information uh, put into the AI, right? When you write anything into the AI, the AI learns from it, right? And that's a major issue. I have a friend of mine who's working at a major company, and his job, his research is to figure out how to protect people's personal information uh, from the AIs uh, and still be a productive AI. That's going to be interesting, uh, an interesting issue. Another issue that's come up recently, I, th I think it's Reddit, and I believe Twitter also, uh, Reddit, I think, has already taken some of the AI companies to a task. I think they're suing them. I'm not sure about that, but I think they're suing them or they're going to be suing them soon about uh, using their database of information to train the AI. I remember reading a while back, and uh, it was a book on AI training models, etc. And the thing they said that the, the most important thing about the AI is actually the data, how you train it, how you train it, and the data sets that you have. The value is the data. So Reddit, Twitter, uh, Stack Overflow, 
where the AIs are training themselves, uh, quite a bit of their training comes from those sites, I would imagine they have a bone to pick here. You know, they got they got an issue here. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out in the courts. Anyway, that's an aside. So don't worry about GPT. Don't worry about AI. Just explore it slowly. I'm not saying drop everything, but, you know, jump into it. Take a look around. See what's going on there. And you'll find some productivity uh, enhancements for sure. 